Oh, this is nasty. Oh god, you guys, there's like white in there, like... Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I decided to throw away all my makeup that is very, very old, starting with some lipsticks. Now, I... I have a passion of makeup and I absolutely freaking love makeup to start off with. So let's get started to this video because it's going to be a heartbreaking video. Gloss just brings like a different type of lip dimension to your lips and it's just like, I don't know. But I have a crap load of matte lipsticks that I bought and that I love and I don't want to throw them away. But it's to that point that they're getting, you know, when you... I'll just show you. I'm, I'm going to show you. But make sure we are subscribed to this channel, you guys, because we're going to be learning a lot and we're going to be doing a lot. And why are we out of focus? Mm. How long should you keep your lipstick? Now, when you buy lipstick, they always give you like in a recommended time frame that you should always keep them and then later on discard them. But should you actually discard them during that time or can you actually use them for longer? Now, I have a lot of lipsticks that are probably like three to five to seven year old. And yes, disgusting. I know. I know. I'm going to go ahead and start off with a few that I have that I absolutely love and that I don't want to get rid of, but I know that I should because they have their years already. So this is my precious pile of lipsticks that I absolutely fell in love with. You guys, I have magnetic lashes on. And they're not the freaking Glabmedics ones that are really expensive. I was going to buy them because of Laura, Lauren, Lauren, the DIY queen. But when I saw the price, I was like, peace. But anyways, let's move on because we have a lot of lipsticks to go to. And then I have a lot of them that are still pretty freaking new. Ooh, what's going on on this one? This one's completely new as well. And this one is the 80 one. I didn't use it, this one, because... But it's having like a weird mark. Hmm. I haven't used this one either, but you see that there's like a weird coloring on it. I don't know if it's focusing. Next one that I love and I have here that I'm going to have to throw away because these are pretty freaking old are the Maybelline lipsticks. These are the sen sensational, I think, believe they're called. These are my holy grail. Like, I love these. Um, but these are the matte ones. Oh my God, you can tell this one's so bad because look at all this. Do you guys see all that little white stuff? All that is like bacteria that's like, it's indicating that the lipstick is bad, bad. That is horrible. I'll be putting a zoom in on the other side. These are going to trash. Definitely. Definitely. Then moving on, I have this one that's a nude one that, again, it has the same little beads on it. Look at that. Ew. These have... Oh, they don't smell bad, actually. But these literally are probably, again, the same time I bought the Kate ones. But the Kate ones look better than this one, which is just like the formula. Again, they're different on each one. Wet n Wild also has a duration of 24 months, which I have a few, which I actually love Wet n Wild lips, um, lipsticks. They are very affordable, but as well as very pigmented. But these are also all goners that you can straight up tell. They are like super... Ugh. this one's so disgusting like you, I don't I didn't even finish using it but look at this hopefully you guys are able to see that that is like really disgusting like the bubbles are everywhere like that's just these are really old like I don't even know how old I want to say like five seven years this one is definitely one of like the strongest ones look at this Look at that. Look at that. And this one, again, it has a lot that I need to go through. Like, look at this. That is so freaking gross. Moving on to J-Cat. J-Cat was one of my favorite ones, especially when we're going through this trend of, like, wearing colorful lipsticks. I mean, you still wear colorful lipsticks. But back then, it was, like, boom 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 color this color this white lips red lips like 
pink, blue, peach. Like it was just like a pop art. Oh, this is nasty. Oh God, you guys, there's like white in there. Like oh. last but not least, let's go ahead and check out this collection. Now these are from L'Oreal. This is actually my favorite collection. It is a private, is a collection Prevere. And these are exclusive by JLo, by Zoe, ooh, and by Julianne. Now Julianne is actually one of my favorite ones because it's red. And this one was like a bold red. Oh, I mean, she's still good. She has nothing on. Hmm. Oh, they still smell like this. I love the smell of it. I don't know why, but they smell freaking good. This, oh, I hate it when they don't say how long they're supposed to be. Then we have the Jennifer, which is a nude one. I never wore nude, so I really at all never wore it. Look, you could tell the L'Oreal sign is right there. But I never wore nude because it just didn't look right on to me until now that I'm learning how to use it. These are the Macaroons collection, which again, color was like, the pop was like, there was a full-on trend of wearing these types of lipsticks. And I love them, so I went ahead and bought like all of them. But let's see. These are supposed to only last a year, which is like crazy because they're, they are longer than a year. I mean, they have the same effect. There's little, little dots on the tip. Ah, I touched my nose. Ew. I'm just kind of mind blown of what I've seen so far, you guys. But let me know in the comments down below. What is your oldest lipstick that you have? I'm just like, I hope you guys enjoy this little montage of how disgusting the lipsticks are gonna be because they have bacteria on it that's been growing for I don't even know how long and we're gonna give their last goodbyes.